Hello everyone. Hope that you all are doing good. Today before jumping to the video, I would like to request you all to like, share my content and do subscribe the channel so that the reach of this channel could grow and more and more people could be benefited. So let's get started. Today in this video, we'll learn to make Spring Boot Spring Security Hello World example. By Spring Security Hello World, I mean that we'll learn to make a Spring Boot application, apply Spring Security and test with the default login provided. So let's get started and let's go to the ID. And how we'll make the project, uh, let's go to new and we'll say Spring Starter Project. There is a dependency that we need to add for Spring Security. When we add that dependency, Spring Security by default provides a login so that so the basic dependency that we need is a spring web and we need the spring security dependency as well so we'll finish it and the project will get important i have already created the project so let's go to the project and see the directory structure so this is our directory structure and this is our main application and as I said that we have added a spring security dependency. Let's go to the POM and check what is the dependency. So this is the dependency spring boot status security. So it will by default provide you spring security, right? So let's go to the main application. We will not write a single line of code. We'll just run the application and see what happens. So I'll say run as spring boot application. So what, uh, what Spring Boot provides is that when we add this dependency, it provides us a default login. So that default login user username is user and the password is printed in your console. Every time you run the application, a new password is being generated here. So let's go to the, con to the browser and let's say, we'll say user and the password is, I'll copy the password from here. So let's go here and let's copy this password and let's put it here, sign in. So this page is mean, we are redirected to this page as we haven't written any code, we haven't actually handled any any kind of a mapping here, right? So if we want that, if we log in into the application, we see hello world. So let's go to the project and let's make a controller package. And we just need a controller uh, to handle the mapping. So let's say dot controller and we'll make a class here. So I'll say a class as spring security, security controller right and I the basic thing to make any class a controller is the annotation that we require that is the at the rate rest controller and at the rate rest controller and let's make a endpoint by saying at the rate request mapping and we'll say simply say slash and we'll say public string say hello right and we'll simply print return hello world right we don't need anything else let's save this and we'll rerun the application so let's go to the main application and then we'll rerun the application so let's run it again saying spring boot app now again you will see that a different password would be printed here so it has started to run and the password is there okay let me copy this password first and let's go to the browser we say localhost 8080 it goes use we say user and we say password and let's log in so we can see that hello world has been printed here right now as 
I said that there is a default username user and a password that is being printed into the console. So if I want that, I should log in from a user uh, username as Raman and password that I want to enter it, right? So let's go to the application properties. So we'll simply go to our property files and we'll add these two properties that says spring.security.user.name and it's the username spring.security.user.password that's the password that you want to enter save this file and my server was already running i suppose i should close it and run the server again so let's go to the main application again and let's run the application again so now you will see that in the console that default password would not get printed as we have already provided the password for our user so let's see that okay no default password has been printed and our application is running now we'll say raman we'll say raman at the 95 we'll enter it and it says hello world so this was the default uh, login used for spring security we can implement it by ourselves as well so this was it from the video the code would be in the description of the video do like share comment on the video if any feedback if any queries do comment i would love to hear it i love to read the comments and do provide an answer to you so do share subscribe my channel and increase the reach of this channel i'll see you in the next video thank you